Hey guys, what is going on? My, what the hell happened to my camera? Today we're talking about five things Nord has recently improved. NordVPN is fast becoming better all the time, which is not something you would have heard me saying a number of years ago. But I guess being a billion dollar company, uh, wait, did I say billion dollar company? I guess I did say a billion dollar company. So what are the perks of that? Should you subscribe to NordVPN? What are some of the reasons you might want to subscribe to NordVPN? I'll be putting a link in the description down below. If you click on that link, you should be able to get this deal. Uh, you might get, or you will get three months extra on the two year plan. So guys, what has NordVPN improved uh, recently? Are you guys ever worried about getting doxxed? I know I am. And that's why I use a service like Incogni to make sure no one could find my IRL information if they find my name. A service like Incogni goes through all the available data brokers out there like White Pages and these different websites. It will tell these websites to remove your information and it saves you tons of time. Use my link in the description down below to get 50% off Incogni as you see here on this website to get this deal. This is my top rated data broker removal tool. It's around half the price of competing services like Delete Me and it has a better interface to boot. So thanks for checking out this one and let's get back to the video. Well guys, the first thing Nord has improved is they now support up to 10 simultaneous devices, which is much better than the previous number of six. This was always a complaint with me about Nord VPN, is that it just couldn't really compete with some other VPNs when it comes to simultaneous use. This basically means you can connect pretty much every one of your devices to Nord VPN, use them at the same time, and having six as an arbitrary limit was just too low, especially compared to other VPNs like Surfshark, which actually allow up to a limited amount of connections, although you're not really encouraged to share your account. Next up, we could talk about NordVPN's countries supported. According to the website, it still says around 50 countries, but I've been able to find NordVPN reporting to me specifically and other websites have now reported it supports up to 111 countries. Choose from NordVPN's 600 6311 ultra fast servers in 111 countries so they've more than doubled the amount of countries supported in a pretty short time which means that no matter where you are you're probably going to be able to get really good speeds this honestly i think is the biggest server network from any vpn provider which is definitely a solid reason to use nord considering you're going to get optimal speeds pretty much no matter where you are not every vpn has this a lot of vpns aren't kind of good for gigabyte connections but with nord it pretty much does max out what i can get with a vpn and that is pretty cool next up we can talk about nor vpn supporting apple tv is another improvement they've made not every vpn does support apple vpn uh, apple tv in fact some of my favorite vpns including torguard surfshark and some other ones still don't have an apple tv application so this is definitely something that sets nord vpn apart from the other options out there especially since it is my top recommended option if you want to unblock your restrictions and use it with services like netflix and so on this paired with an Apple TV make it a very good combination for unlocking streaming services, so definitely a solid improvement. Next up is passkey support. NordPass does support passkeys now, making it one of the first password managers to officially support it. Now, other password managers like Bitwarden do have it in beta to some extent, um, but NordPass, I'm kind of surprised they have put uh, as much development into this one as I th they, they have. I kind of thought this would just be some peripheral or whatever, but it actually seems like they've dumped a good amount of money into this one. The user interface is good, as I found in my review around it two years ago, and since then, they've put a lot of updates and work into it including this is very um, impressive to me so definitely if you're looking for a password manager still and you haven't really kind of locked yourself into one of the ecosystems this one has a free kind of service to offer and a paid premium model too so it's definitely something that could be checked out if you're interested in probably one of the best interfaces and passkey support so, you know, you can check that out with my link as well in the description down below. Next up, though, we could talk about NordVPN's Linux implementation. Um, it is open source now. I don't know if it always was, but uh, recently I learned a couple months ago that their Linux CLI is open source. So that's definitely a solid thing for Linux users and nothing to scoff at since some VPNs don't even support Linux use. All right, guys, that's about it for this 